G'day. Hello there. I'm Ozzy Robbo. I'm English Jen. And welcome to another episode where we are pirates. Yeah, so we're going to Jack's restaurant and possibly go on Pirates of the Caribbean. Seems rude not to. Yeah. Savvy. in Jack's restaurant. Um, a bit of a wait to get in here. We had a quarter past four and it's now half an hour later. So the restaurant, Captain Jack's, is based inside the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. The ride was actually down when we first got over here. It's been ripped down for most of the afternoon, but it started again. So you can actually see people in the boats going past, sailing away, uh, looking over. <laughs> um, which is quite interesting, having a restaurant where the ride is kind of going through the restaurant. Yeah. So it's, um, it's a nice environment, it's very dark. I remember the last time we were here, the ride shut down so it went quite light, but it hasn't done that again so far since we've been here. Um, so we're on the dining plan plus, so that's a full board plus. So we have a set menu to pick from. Um, so about, what would you say, three, is it three dishes from starter, mains and desserts? Yeah, it's pretty much the same menu we did last time. Yeah. Um, with a soft drink included, uh, what I've decided to go for is I've decided to have a soft drink but also have a virgin mojito. I wanted to try like a, a non-alcoholic cocktail. See, so we have definitely had one last time. So choices for me, I went for the uh, quinoa salad and a spicy cashew uh, vinaigrette. And then a main course, I went for vegetable curry, plantain banana and captain's rice. And then the dessert, I went for the island style rice pudding and mango puree. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to that. It's, going, it's things I wouldn't necessarily normally choose as well. See, it's basically the same menu as we had last time. So I went for starters, I went for the chopped smoked chicken with green papaya and pickled vegetables, which should be interesting. Yeah. I don't remember what style I had last time. I remember I had the fish last time, but I don't think it was mahi mahi, but maybe it was. Either way, I've gone for mahi mahi again with a mahi mahi steak with uh, <laughs> coconut sauce and bell peppers. And for dessert, I've chosen the same, I'm pretty sure I had the same thing last time, where it's the exotic, exotic fruit soup. I don't remember it. Yeah, remember it was, like, it was like a liquid, but with fruit on top or something. Oh, okay. With um, muscovada sugar and coconut foam. Mmm, mm. Now to try the virgin mojito. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's got, that's really nice. What flavours are you getting? Mojito. <laughs> Mint. Are you getting the essence of being on a Caribbean beach? Caribbean oh, completely. Beach? Oh, you want to smell of chlorine. <laughs> My salad's quite nice. Uh, it's, it's a very big portion. Oh. Very big portion. Decent amount of chicken for a starter. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of pickled vegetables in this uh, in the salad. So once you've gone through the chicken, <laughs> Left with lettuce and pickled vegetables. So it's, it's alright, it's not bad. Um, I pulled over by it, don't know if I'd crave it again. Maybe three shrimps on a barbie? Three? So I had the quinoa salad. I've had a few in my lunch hours um, at work before, I've never been that impressed. This is a slight elevated version of that. Um, the only thing is, I find that the further you get into it, the less there is of the sauce, which makes it, gives it the, like the moist feeling. So it becomes a bit dry by the end of it. Quite nice though with the coconut bread. That's really lovely. But I feel like it shouldn't need something going with it to make it tasty. I'm gonna give it three Kenobis. So I had the plantain vegetable curry with rice. Um, didn't like it. Sometimes you shouldn't take risks. <laughs> um, a lot of chunky vegetables uh, with a mediocre curry. And the plantain was lovely, but it was only a small part of it, like a very small part of the main dish. 
So it felt like the vegetables, which normally would be the accompaniment, became the main, and the plantain was, yeah, lacking. The rice also just dried it out. There's nothing special about the rice. So for me, I'm afraid it's one Kenobi. So yeah, I had the fish, the mahi mahi. Um, I actually really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, the fish was really nice, uh, really quite moist. Um, some nice flavour in the fish. Um, the rice was fine and the sauce was okay, but yeah, uh, the, the fish I really enjoyed. So um, I'll give that meal a four for uh, shrimps on a barbie. <laughs> Couldn't remember what I was putting on a barbie now. Uh, four shrimps on a barbie. Yeah. He hasn't been drinking, folks. No, yours look nice. I tried some of yours and still not, I mean, I'm not a big fish person, but yeah, it's all right for me. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Let's go, Darren. Someone's put their hand in the water, more than likely. Your attention, please. As a security measure, you are obliged to evacuate the area. Please follow the instructions given by our cast members. Thank you for your cooperation. Mesdames et messieurs, votre attention, s'il vous plaît. All the boats are happy. Nous sommes dans l'obligation d'évacuer so, disappointing person, uh, starter and main. Dessert, I took another risk. Actually, this kind of paid off. Um, I ate two things which I don't normally like, rice pudding and mango. Um, it was all right, it was actually okay. I would give it three Kenobis. So I actually enjoyed my dessert again. I had the same thing last time. It's kind of weird, it's a fruit salad with loads of juice. So the fruit salad's on top of the juice. And then you got loads of cream and then cinnamon on top of the cream. And actually I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I, it's quite a delightful dessert to finish off. So um, I would give that four shrimps on a barbie. I'm pretty sure I gave the main four shrimps on a barbie as well. Yeah, quite successful. Yes. Um, now hopefully the right goes back. Yeah. So um, we just finished in the restaurant. Uh, I really enjoyed the meal. You didn't enjoy it so much. No. But um, yeah, so I enjoyed the meal. Unfortunately, the ride went down while we were in the restaurant and uh, the ride hasn't gone back up again. So yeah, we and couldn't hit the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And the repeated messages about evacuation kind of ruined the ambiance a little bit. It went on for most of the, well, half the main course and the dessert. So for me, it kind of ruined it a bit. But we're going to try and head over Star Wars Land and uh, go to Hyper Space Mountain. Discovery Land, <laughs> Discovery Land mixed with Star Wars Land, um, and hit Hyper Space Mountain. And uh, hopefully, the line won't be too long on that one. And plus, like you, hopefully. Tomorrow, tomorrow for sure. So we just got a Pirates, um, Fine. I finally managed to get on there, uh, great ride, it was uh, definitely worth getting back on for, although <laughs> right at the end there seems to be like a oh. traffic, jam. traffic jam, there is a major traffic jam in that ride and you're in the same scene hearing yo ho ho for god knows how long. Shared it on Twitter, shared it on Instagram. <laughs> but um, no, it's a really enjoyable ride, you know, I guess America is one of the original ones but this one is definitely, I, I gotta say, it's a lot more enjoyable. Uh, people wouldn't like me saying that, but yeah, I enjoy that a lot more. I mean, we haven't been to Disneyland in California, so that's gonna be one we definitely need to try. Um, the reason why we prefer this one at the moment, because not including Disneyland California, is because it's got the two drops. And yeah, it just, it's just so it's got, got a atmosphere. nice ascension with like that, the mist coming down. And yeah, all it's lovely. Um, so yeah, we're just glad we really finally got on it, because well, I, I honestly thought we were gonna get to the end of this trip and not get on it because it's been down so many times and if, we actually thought we might end up getting evacuated that time so 
if you ever come here, get on pirates whenever you can because that's usually one of the first ones to go down. So we just got off Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain. Uh, what did you think? <laughs> I forgot A, how much I enjoyed that one, how it's the best space mountain, don't care, it's the best one, it's a proper coaster. Uh, but yeah, also how much it rattles your head around. It's a big rush, so it's very fast, very, very fast. Um, bit of a headache now. Yeah, it is a rattler. Uh, my knees especially, I mean, I'm six foot three, but my knees, there's, there's something that comes down in the middle and it just, your knees get bumped against it the whole time. Also, they've now and got screens up. Sorry. Yeah, it made, the screens made it even more painful to get into the, to the ride. Yeah. I struggled to get out. Because it's just more claustrophobic. Um, and then talk. <laughs> halfway through, the girl in front of me who had really long braids, they all of a sudden landed on my hand, which is kind of gross. And I was like, and then they just kept flapping towards me all the time. And I was like, oh no. Sometimes things happen like that in space. I don't need braids. I don't need to scream. But I, I do really enjoy it because it's got that, it's got the star, the old classic Star Wars music. I think I said this last time, it's got the old classic Star Wars music, which really kind of attaches it to Star Wars. Isn't it? um, it's a bit bizarre hearing some of the, the, the French voices, especially the guy at the beginning. His, his voice is so like squeaky, but it's, um, <laughs> it doesn't make you feel like you're on a Star Wars space <laughs> Um But seeing the Star Destroyers halfway through, that's really cool. It kind of covers the whole dome. Yeah, they do a really good job of clouding the yeah the, the area, the, the sort of surroundings you're in. They do a really good job of doing that. Great ride, great ride. It's just very uh, damaging to the body. Yeah, a bit lakey. Yeah. So now we're going to try and get on Buzz Lightyear. The lions, the evil Emperor Zerg. His robotic army is stealing the Stalag fusion power now. Picked a fine time to send the new recruits. I've got Toy Story Buzz Lightyear and I decimated him. Uh, destroyed him for the first time ever. Still, no, not decimated. We're on the same level, level three. Like 10,000 difference. And I got the receipt to prove it. Yep, still not really brilliant. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, the last time I've ever played a shooting game ever. <laughs> I'm in shooting game retirement now. Oh, it was fun. It was actually really fun. Not too long away either. I guess that's basically going to be the end of the day, maybe? I think it should be. It's uh, coming up to 7 o'clock. Crowds are kind of dwindling. But we might head back and uh, grab a quick uh, say half hour, hour, hour in the pool. pool. Yeah. yeah, we've got dinner tonight. And that will be in the next episode, where we're going to the downtown restaurant in the Marvel Hotel. With the Arts Marvel. Celebrating them giving the Statue of Liberty to America. Okay, we didn't make it to ha Halloween Horror Nights. This was the next best thing. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> you freaking dark rooms off? 
That was weird, I've never seen it before. It's <laughs> Trust you to find that. The toilet's actually there. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, that's where they've got. I don't know what they do, though. Did not Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that feel really weird on you. <laughs> and so ends another day in Disneyland Paris. Uh, that's in the, the day. Uh, we've done enough rides, uh, but we've had a good we've had a good day, a good full day. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, don't forget. To, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. We always love your comments as well, so make sure to leave those down below. Tonight we're just going to go for a dip in the pool hotel, back to the Art of Marvel Hotel, and we're also going to have some dinner. So make sure to watch the next vlog, uh, where we'll catch you there. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye bye. Um, really full day. And sometimes, I think the theme of this episode is, you can't always get what you want. <laughs> the end, there seems to be like a, like a, what is it? Um, like a, a car, what is it, what, is, what am I looking for? Boat? No, traffic jam. And you can find us also on Twitter and Instagram, where we'll be doing updates on a daily basis while we're here in Paris. So there's lots of content you have missed already by what? <laughs> So that's the end of this episode, bye-bye. <laughs>